Nick the Stripper for the birthday party um, is my favourite music video still. It was one of the earliest music videos I made, one of the first videos I made. The birthday party at that time were live, were an incendiary band live, and I saw them play in Australia and in England and in America at that time. Um, their performances were, uh, they were more than, more than uh, chaotic and mayhem, they were kind of, kind of almost nihilistic. There was some notion that we wanted to make a video that was anarchic. Uh, we'd been talking about the works of Bosch and Bruegel paintings. So, you know, in, in making that video, none of the references were to f photography or films. It was to painters. We were just kind of thumbing our nose at people making the video. I mean, certainly the band had were about to leave the country in disgust. And the video was made with all that in mind. It was fueled by a degree of anger. Their manager at the time had given me a small amount of money, but it wouldn't have paid for much more than getting the, the film stock processed. So we stole the film stock from film school. Um, we <clears throat> borrowed the equipment. Uh, we shot it in, at the time it was the Hawthorne tip. Um, we didn't have any permission. We couldn't work out how to power our light sources. And what that actually meant was a guy was standing on a ladder wearing a pair of rubber gloves and throwing up some electrical cables and arcing them so we could actually tap three-phase power. Um, and I think if he'd got it wrong, he would have been dead. People started arriving around uh, dusk. A couple of hundred people showed up at one point. One of my friends who worked in a psychiatric hospital bust people in. And it just turned into a, a crazy, mad, party, which was incidentally, we were shooting. The uh, Hawthorne Fire Brigade showed up at one point. Um, the police visited many times, and, and to my best of my knowledge, I don't think the police ever asked for a permit. Um, so somehow we got away with it. Yeah, it was a wonderful moment in time for all of us so it has fond memories and of course the video still seems to have um, it still seems to pack a punch for people I went through a period making music videos when really I was trying to make short films Quasimodo's Dream um, which I co-directed with Evan English we had a company called The Rich Kids that video really was inspired by the fact that uh, one of our favourite filmmakers was Werner Herzog and um, we both were obsessed with a film he'd made called Aguirre, Wealth of God. And we were very, very um, keen to kind of tell narrative ideas and very keen likewise never to see instruments. So I went through an era, a period in my career where I never ever let a band play an instrument um, and in Quasimodo's dream they're just the cast of a, a, a short film really. They've certainly been a playground for me, they were in my formative years, very important and I just really wanted to put film through a camera and just learn and music videos gave me the, the best vehicle to do that. They're a wonderful um, cultural artefact, aren't they? To see them. And some of them are embarrassing, but the best ones seem to be timeless and survive and kind of, they transport you to a time and then transport you beyond the time. And that's what's wonderful about them.